Europe's roads are saturated. Traffic congestion is a chronic problem throughout the European Union, and one of its key causes is the amount of freight transported in lorries. On top of that, road transport is a major source of global warming, and too many lorries making too many very long journeys also pose a serious threat to road safety. Of course, we will always need lorries to carry some of our freight, just not as much. Over the next few years, the amount of freight transported on Europe's roads, measured in units called tonne kilometres, defined as the number of kilometres travelled by one tonne of freight, is set to increase dramatically. It's estimated that road freight volumes will grow by over 20 billion tonne kilometres a year between now and 2013. The European Union recognises the situation is urgent and is actively encouraging alternative means of freight transport where possible, in particular sea shipping, inland waterways and railways. One of the most important tools the Union has for promoting this modal shift in freight transport is the Marco Polo 2 programme. Projects backed by Marco Polo are already ensuring that 42 billion tonne kilometres of freight, the equivalent of over half a million trucks a year travelling between Paris and Berlin, will be shifted away from roads over the coming years. It's estimated that moving freight in this way could lead to environmental, social and economic benefits for Europe worth nearly a billion euros. Here in the Belgian port of Antwerp, this train is being loaded with containers that would otherwise have made their way to their final destinations by lorry. In its first year of operation, the service took 375 million tonne kilometres of freight off of Europe's roads. The train is called Arago, and it runs several times a week between Antwerp and Barcelona in Spain, passing via the Burgundy region in eastern France. Its operators, a Belgian company also active in the road haulage sector, receive support from Marco Polo to set up the service. Well, het uh, intermodal vervoer biedt uh, diverse voordelen. Een van de voordelen is bijvoorbeeld het uh, toelaten van het hoger gewicht dat men kan transporteren per trein. Daarnaast maakt men gebruik van lokale chauffeurs, zowel hier als op eindbestemming. En last but not least, men maakt gebruik van het groene imago van het spoorproduct. There are major technical challenges to developing reliable rail freight networks in Europe. Here on the Orisund link, a bridge and tunnel between Denmark and Sweden, train operators must cope with the fact that the two countries' rail networks use different electrical voltages and train safety systems. In the past, this meant changing locomotives when trains crossed the border. But today, thanks to recently developed technology, the switches can now be made automatically inside the driver's cab. Sven Erik Andersen's company runs a rail freight service between Germany and Sweden called Scandinavian Shuttle, which uses the Orisund link. Marco Polo helped him and his rail operator partners tackle many of the technical problems. The scheme also assisted him in developing an online satellite tracking system, which allows his customers to know at any time where trains carrying their goods are. Vad vi säger till marknaden som egentligen är de som har nytta av det här. Då säger vi att vi kan hämta er sändning idag och den är framme i övermorgon och vi går över bron. Och ni kan lita på det för vi kan följa det hela vägen. Vi kan också låta kunden titta på var tåget går och när det går. Eller rättare sagt var deras gods befinner sig som vi har i våra system. Så det är ganska enkelt. Mer komplicerat vill vi inte göra det utan kunden är ju bara intresserad av när går det, när kommer det fram och kan vi lita på det. This Austrian firm is one of the country's leading road haulage companies. But recently, again with help from Marco Polo, it's begun to develop rail transport services. Essentially, the company argues, because there are sound business reasons for doing so. Here at the company's main warehouse in the Austrian city of Lambach, goods are being prepared for transportation all over Europe. And increasingly, they're making the main part of their journeys by train, not truck. One of the firm's most successful rail services is called Shuttle Romania, and it links Lambach with the Romanian city of Timisoara. Es war in erster Linie eine strategische Entscheidung der Gartnergruppe im Zuge des Neubaus dieses Terminals, auch in Richtung kombinierter Verkehr, also Verlagerung von der Straße auf die Schiene, zu investieren, um 
langfristig auch entsprechende Möglichkeiten auf der Schiene anbieten zu können für unsere Kunden. Das war im Wesentlichen der Beweggrund, warum wir hier investiert haben. In Barcelona, the Arago train has reached the end of its long journey from Antwerp. During the trip, it had to overcome a number of technical issues at the border between Spain and France, as the two countries have different gauges for their railway lines. Here at the city's huge industrial port, containers that will continue their voyage by sea will be loaded onto ships, while those destined for more local customers will make the final legs of their trips by lorry. Israel Largo, whose company specializes in the transport of chemicals, said he was happy to use the rail service rather than sending his goods from Antwerp to Barcelona by road. Arago is a system that permits that the trains do not have so much intervention and, therefore, the service is much better, much more rapid, much more effective and much more secure, apart from all the advantages that has the intermodal in itself. There's no denying that we still have a very long way to go in our efforts to ensure that freight transport in Europe is more evenly shared between road and other modes of haulage. For the rail sector, major technical and organizational obstacles still need to be overcome, for example. But projects backed by Marco Polo have shown that the potential exists for developing long-distance rail freight as an environmentally sound, safe and economically viable alternative to road haulage in many cases. With the right support and encouragement, these kinds of rail services could have the same effect on our roads as freeing up an entire lane on all of Europe's motorway networks, for example. We may not yet have reached our final destination, but thanks to programmes like Marco Polo, Europe could just be on the right track. <laughs>